how to create over 1000 gmail accounts without phone number verification now go to your play store this is my play store now tap on the profile image now once you have tapped on that profile image tap on the drop down menu now once you have tapped on that drop down menu you are going to see all the gmail account you have created with your phone normally if the number of gmail account attached to your phone is more than two when next you want to create another gmail account with that phone it will ask for your phone number so having more than two gmail accounts attached to your play store is one of the reasons anytime you want to create another gmail account they ask for your phone number this is not the only reason so many reasons so you need to watch this video to the end so you know all the reasons so when next you want to create another gmail account it won't ask for your phone number so to create unlimited gmail account without phone number we are going to remove all the gmails attached to our play store you are going to leave just one gmail this is how to remove gmails attached to your play store i want to remove this kcek88 at gmail.com so tap on manage accounts on this device now once you have tapped it it is going to bring you here now tap on this kcek88 at gmail.com now once you have tapped it as you can see they said remove account tap on that remove account it says removing this account will delete all of its messages contacts and other data from the phone now tap on remove accounts now that gmail account has been successfully deleted from your phone for the next step we have to install opera mini now go to your play store at the search bar of play store write opera mini now we have to download this app opera mini but if you have opera mini installed on your phone this is what you are going to do now go to your phone settings go to your phone settings tap on it now tap on apps management now once you have tapped on apps management tap on app settings now at the search bar type opera mini search for opera mini if you already have this app installed on your phone tap opera mini write opera mini search for opera mini tap it now tap on storage and cache now tap on clear cache and tap on clear storage as you can see it says all this app data will be deleted permanently this includes all files setting account and databases now tap ok now once you have tapped it now go back to play store sorry go back to your phone and uninstall opera mini now after you have uninstalled opera mini now come back to your phone setting now tap on uh, apps management now tap on apps management tap on default apps now once you have tapped on default app now tap on browser app now once you have tapped on browser app make sure uh, opera mini is ticked now tick on opera mini to make it your default browser app now go back tap on app settings now at the search bar search for play store search for play store tap google play store now once you have tapped it now tap on storage and cache now once you have tapped that storage and cache tap on clear cache and tap on clear storage it says all these apps data will be deleted permanently this includes all files setting accounts databases etc but before you do this make sure you know all your password now after tapping on ok now go back to play store go back to play store 
tap on your profile image. Now tap on this drop down menu. Now tap on add another account. Now let it process. It's going to process. Let it process. It's done processing. Now tap on create account. Now we have two options for my personal use, for work or my business. Now tap for my personal use. Now let it process. Now enter your first name. Enter your first name. Now last name is optional, but you can still enter it. Now tap on next. Now let it process. Now put your date of birth. Put your date of birth. Now your gender, let's put male. Now tap on next. Now let's eat process. Now impute your username. Impute a username. Impute a username. Now tap next. Let me close this gap. Tap next. Let it process. It's done processing. Now let me impute my password. Tap on next. Now once I've tapped on next, it will bring me here. I can say never. I don't want to save it yet. As you can see, they said review your account info. You can use these email addresses to sign in later. Now tap on next. Now, once you have tapped on next, scroll up. They said privacy and terms. Now, scroll up. Sorry, scroll down. Tap on I agree. Now, once you have tapped on I agree, it is going to bring you here. It's processing. As you can see, it's done processing. It did not even ask me of my phone number. Now, with this method, you can create unlimited gmail account now if i tap on my profile image i tap on this drop down arrow now look at the email i just created stanley okoro 2345x at gmail.com as you can see it did not ask me for a phone number it just went straight in creating uh, the gmail for me this is how you can create unlimited gmail account for any question please ask me in the comment section and i will be there to answer you i am casey the tech guy please like share and subscribe to my channel one love everybody obrigado